Hey guys, and welcome back to Araceli Chan DIY. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful centerpiece that I may be using for Milani's baptism reception. I still have other thoughts, so this may not be the final one. I did get my inspiration browsing around on Pinterest. There was a lot of different variations, but I put my own spin onto what I did. Before you go anywhere, I would love it if you guys became a permanent part of this YouTube family and you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Okay, so for this DIY, I will be using some rose gold bling wrap from Totally Dazzled and then also a couple of pieces of fabric from burlapfabric.com and from the Dollar Tree, I did get some of these picture frames. I really love how these look. There's square ones and oval ones and also these tall white candles and some of these tall vases. They have some shorter ones, but I'm going to be using the very tall ones. Also from Totally Dazzled, I will be using this beautiful silver cross and then this rose gold brooch, which I will link down below for the website. Hi, Milani. And then on the chargers, you can use whatever color fits your theme. I actually ended up using white chargers. And so on my frame, I'm just going to go ahead and take everything off of it. I do like the color, but I decided to make it look a little bit aged because I am going for that like rustic glam feel. So what I did was just take some acrylic paint and I just dabbed it on there with a napkin. This acrylic paint is from Dollar Tree and it actually has like a watery consistency on the frame. Um, so I did end up doing several layers of it. And once it was all dried off, I did go ahead and take my brooch. I took off the pin from the back. It's really easy to take off with needle nose pliers pliers <laughs> and then I just put a good amount of hot glue to the back and glued it to the corner of the frame. So I took a couple of pieces of the bling wrap and I just wrapped and hot glued it around the vases. Then I took a piece of burlap fabric long enough to go around the vase and I went ahead and glued the corners down like this, just the little drop dot of hot glue. And then after that was done, I went ahead and wrapped it around the vase and glued the corners together. All right, so on here, I just went ahead and took the back off again with the needle nose pliers, put some hot glue on the back, and I placed it right on the center of the vase to cover that piece of fabric that's overlapping. For my candle, I did the exact same thing with the exception that I did not fold the corners of the burlap fabric. I just went ahead and wrapped it around. And then I took one strip of the bling and I just went ahead and glued the top and then wrapped it around towards the bottom. If you guys are familiar with Mexican weddings or baptisms or quinceañeras, you know that people who come are going to take the centerpieces. It's just like a traditional thing, I guess. So I know that these are going to be gone by the end of the night. So I finished off the look by putting a little square of burlap fabric on top of a white charger plate from Dollar Tree. And then this is sitting on top of a burlap runner as well. Because I don't recommend you lighting the candle right next to the flowers, I did do a different setting. So I just went ahead and put a paper lace um, placemat so that I can spread everything out and I can light the candle. All right, you guys, so that is gonna be it for today's DIYs. I really do hope you guys enjoyed these videos or this video, and I'm looking forward to sharing the final day with you guys. Super exciting, and it's gonna be a really special day for us. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave us a thumbs up. I would love it if we could get this video to 500 thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.